Hi, this is Steve Dark at Quick Intelligence. I'd just like to give you a quick walkthrough of some of the apps that we've uploaded to Click Community over the last few years. First up is a data profiler, which um, uses the field and table uh, objects which uh, exist in every ClickView application and allows you to profile data using those fields. So if we were to look at um, country, for example, over here, straight away we get some stats on countries here and then a, a quick chart showing um, frequency underneath. So we can see that there are 21 distinct countries in, in this data set. And um, we can see that the, the longest one is 11 characters long and the most prevalent one is the USA. Um, we can look obviously at um, numeric values as well. So if we look at our order header, we can find uh, the freight costs. We can see that um, 35 spot 9 and 30 spot 11 are the most um, prevalent costs. We can also see the max and the min for those values. Now what's quite nice with these objects is that we can um, copy them and paste them into any ClickView applications and they'll work straight out of the box on any data set. Um, there's a supporting blog post for this app as well saying how it's been created. Another application which is up on Click Community is this prior period comparison. Uh, it's quite a frequent use case for ClickView that you're looking at a certain period. So in this case here, year to date for this month, and then looking at the year to date for the previous month, and then looking at the variance. Also then looking at month to date figures uh, against the same month last year and um, prior month. So we can see we're up against the um, same month last year, but down against um, the previous month, July. Again, this is done uh, for a post on Click Community, and there's a full description on how you can make these um, kind of um, comparisons in your own applications. The next one I want to show you is um, one about ClickView buttons. I won't spend a lot of time on this as there is a video which features it's purely this document but it shows how we can use text boxes to change the layout of our documents so this is showing and hiding objects here and um, giving us a different style to um, the standard tabs also shows um, other ways you can associate actions so dials um, love them or hate them one of the things you can do them with them is attach action so we click on sydney we get details for sydney here um, similar boston um, you can get more fluid UIs by enabling color through buttons and legend list buttons as well. A button doesn't actually have to have a label on it. Um, you can have images being um, buttons and also arrows. Uh, and you can show and hide tabs as well. So anything you can do with one of these large buttons up here, you can do with a, a much simpler, flatter type of button. So again, there's a blog post to accompany that one. Another example here is uh, one with a dynamic date um, as a dimension. So you can have dual groups in ClipView, but they can sometimes um, be less than helpful because you can only view um, months which exist wholly within a year. So if you want to catch the end of one year and the beginning of another, uh, a drill down won't allow you to do this, but this chart here will allow that to happen. So we've got um, all, all of 2010 and most of 2011 showing on here because we've got space to show up on the chart and the dimension looks as to how many data points can be shown. Uh, if we drill in further, then we can get down to the point where we're showing um, dates as well. So there's all of February shown um, as dates. So, and again, we could have um, the end of January and the start of February using the um, dynamic dimension. And here's the source code for, for doing that, which is all in the example. Finally, I'd just like to show you an, another way of doing a current selections. Um, many apps have a big current selection box on every page, taking up a lot of space. Here we've just got a text box which says um, what our current selections are. So if we make a few selections here you can see those appearing here now obviously we can't with a text box do um, removal of selections but 
you clicking here it then shows a full current selections box taking up much more space but um you've we're now wanting to use it um so we can then remove one of our selections click to hide and see that's affected here so it's quite a neat way of using the current selections um, as opposed to having a minimized one which such as that one there so um, we've got many more example documents as well and you can find um, all of them on our website so um, quick intelligence co uk click a few examples hopefully you'll find um, things there which are, are useful to yourself so many thanks for watching this video um, hope, you, hope you found it useful and hope you enjoy using our examples many thanks